one problem. So. Okay. Thank you. That that helps me uh, uh, understand that. Would you speak to the issue that is it a whole separate funding for the Navajo Nation highway systems, or how do they get looked at in this process? Um, I'm, I'm not real aware of how they do their funding for, uh, say, for highway safety improvements. Um, if it is on a state highway, ADOT, of course, is responsible for any type of highway safety improvement, and I do believe that the districts would apply for that. As far as internal routes inside the Navajo Nation, uh, I think Navajo DOT would be responsible for that, um, but I'm not sure if they can apply for the same type of funding or not. It, it is a federal funding mechanism, so I would assume that they can. But I don't know that for sure. Okay. Thank you. There's no other questions, so we can call for the question. All in favor, say aye. 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 Oppose. The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Let's move on to item five, Mr. Crosby. Supervisors, uh, this item is a discussion of possible approval to uh, award a bid 2001401 for a water truck for District 3. Um, we received only one bid, um, and the price was above what we were wanting to see. So we would recommend that we reject uh, bid 201401 uh, and we'll weigh our options. But we, we recommend that we reject this bid. Okay. Uh, just for my information, what was the uh, bid that was submitted? For that? The bid was from Empire Machinery for right around $100,000. I see. Okay. Is there a motion to reject? The bid. So move to reject the bid. Second. Questions, comments? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Moving on to item six. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Um, item six is discussion of possible approval of the Arizona State Forestry Agreement WBBI 10-601 for bark beetle mitigation in the Cosby Acre subdivision of Greer, Arizona. Uh, project not to exceed 59,100 in grant funds and requires no matching funds. I need to just clarify, there's 10% um, um, matching funds, but that comes from the property owners, uh, not the county. Okay. Chairman? I'll move to approve the agenda item with a question, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Second. Motion second to approve. You have a question, Mr. Weller? Uh, yes. Uh, for my benefit, maybe some of the public, could you describe the uh, widespreadness of the beetle problem and whether this grant addresses the majority, a minority, or whatever, of what this problem is in our forest? Um, bark beetle and other types of forest insects are a problem throughout the forest, especially post-fire conditions make it real favorable for these types of insects. Um, again, it's a forest health problem overall. So we can mitigate um, areas where there's an impact. Greer has seen substantial impact. We did a round of funding last year in Crosby Acres and treated about half of the subdivision out of regular hazardous fuels funding. That's fire mitigation funds. Um, because there's a bark beetle issue in the area, we can go back and treat the remainder out of this funding mechanism um, and save some of our fire money. Um, so no, this isn't a guarantee to mitigate bark beetle in that area. There's still lots of work that has to be done but we can definitely uh, protect that area and save some of the resources that are there. <coughs> and I'll just say that bark beetle usually go after weakened trees, not healthy trees. So if we can get those ones out, then the healthy trees should survive. Any other questions? No, that's great, thank you. Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Item seven. 
Item 7 is discussion and possible approval of the technical assistance contract between NACOG and Apache County for the environmental assessment of the City of St. John's Community Development Block Grant for the Mountain View Waterline Project that will be administered by Apache County. General? Motion to approve. Second. Motion, second to approve. Questions, comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, one opposed. Thank you, Melinda. Item 8, Sheriff's Office. Chief? <coughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, the Sheriff's Office request discussion and possible authorization to accept the Governor's Office of Highway Safety DUI Abatement Grant Program DUI AC-E-027 in the amount of $20,000 which will support personnel services uh, this is overtime and ERE's for that overtime this program will enhance DUI effort and education and requires no matching funds from the county and we would requ request approval. Okay, gentlemen, what are your wishes? Uh, second the motion with brief comment. Okay, is your comment, Mr. Weller? Yeah, I just want to thank uh, Chief Deputy Uger and her, his uh, crew for answering many of the questions that I have. I appreciate that as you're trying to educate me on these issues. Uh, it's important for me to understand some of the issues associated with this funding, but I appreciate the, the work of your staff. Thank you. With that, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you, Chief. <clears throat> you got the next one? Yes, sir. Apache okay. County. Sorry, sir. Apache County Emergency Management requests discussion and possible authorization to enter into a cooperative intergovernmental agreement with the Arizona State Forester. The purpose of this agreement is to provide mutual emergency assistance and cooperation between the Arizona Land Department through the State Forestry, sorry, through the State Forester, Forestry Division, the state, and Apache County. This is the agreement with the state which allows us to be uh, partially reimbursed for uh, firefighting efforts and emergency efforts uh, on state land. Uh, it's been reviewed by Joe Young and we would request approval. Okay, Jim, can you wish this place? Um, Mr. Chairman, I have, uh, I'll motion to approve, but I do have some questions. Motion and second to approve the question. Yes, Chief Deputy Eager, you used the wording partially fund, and uh, Mr. Young's comments and his approval was kind of pointed out that we certainly don't have county budgeted money in case this doesn't cover it. So, could you speak to that issue and, and how uh, how we address this when when we don't get covered by this? Uh, basically, my understanding is that's what our contingency is built into our budget for for emergency uh, the state uh, in the wall of fire through the state and federal assistance that we received uh, that we received anywhere from uh, 90 to 100 percent reimbursement 10 percent is generally left to the county because all lo all all uh, disasters and emergencies are local and are expected to be handled as such but this provides the agreement by which we can get reimbursed through the state for certain uh, firefighting aspects. I appreciate that. Larger catastrophes just create different funding requests, so to speak. <coughs> yes, sir. The, uh, the smaller ones are not uh, eligible for FEMA assistance. You have to meet a dollar amount uh, requirement to be eligible for federal assistance. Before that, uh, we get assistance from the state. And that's this one? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Beth, was the motion second made? Yes, sir. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> the ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Okay, let's go with item 10. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think that's my item. Uh, I'll try to be very brief. 